guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how to create go high level automation workflow for new leads now this workflow i will be creating in this video is from my personal experience because i've been working for a lot of people a lot of agencies out there who work with businesses i also work on my own high level account and from my experience what i do is for new leads i have a workflow created that takes care of a bunch of stuff which i will show you in this uh, in this video through a workflow so if i create a new workflow start from scratch now this trigger in this workflow could vary so it could come from form submission it could come from survey submission it could come from a chat widget as well uh, it could come from maybe an appointment booking anything so for example let's say form submitted and the form is contact form so we know whoever submits the contact form is a new lead technically in our system also if we say survey submitted so we can have multiple triggers on the same workflow and uh, the survey is survey zero and then we could say customer replied this is for chat widget so if you're using the chat widget on your website on uh, or on your landing page you could do reply to reply channel chat widget also you could do uh one more thing like uh I guess I could, that should be it. So form submitted, survey submitted, customer replied to your, or sent a message to your chat widget. So I'm gonna call this new lead automation. So these are all new leads. What I wanna do is I wanna create an action which will be assigned to user. So whenever there's a new lead, these leads should be assigned to someone. Otherwise these get actually lost according to our automation at least. So the best practice is to assign the leads to a user which is me because this is a uh, i'm working on my account okay cool the next thing you want to do is you want to create or update an opportunity in the pipeline lead so i have a pipeline called leads that's why i'm adding to that pipeline uh, i could call it hot lead because they approached us or you could maybe call them warm leads doesn't really matter and uh I could call opportunity contact.name status is open and if really important if you have a potential sale value for these leads like a thousand dollars just assign it it helps you see how many like what kind of sales are coming in and what's the potential value of the leads you have in your system the next thing i want to do is i want to notify myself so notify internal notification from CRM, from the email, new feed in the system, new lead in CRM, details, name, email, phone number, best CRM, okay? So the name will be full name. Email will be this uh, custom values email. Phone number will be custom values phone number. All right, that's it. Next thing you want to do is, uh, sorry, I want to send it to the assigned user. You could also send it to all users if you like from here, but I'm sending it to the assigned user. Next thing you want to do is add a task. So whenever you're on the system you have a task to follow up so follow up or check on contact.name so maybe john filled out the form follow up with john or check on john please uh, check the conversation status or full name Maybe I'll check it in the email address as well. Assign to contact assigned user due in two days. That's it. Now you need to put a wait trigger that will wait for a few seconds before it starts sending the lead notification or an email, you know, uh, a few seconds. What we are doing is sending an email. 
So this will be U. This will be again U. Uh, thank you for submitting the form. Hi, thanks for reaching out. I will be in touch shortly. If you want to use uh, custom values, that's something you can do from here. Just use the first name and I'll copy this. And I'm, I'm showing you how I work really. So I'm going to send an SMS as well. Save action. All right. So these are usually what I, you know, what I set up in the new lead automation. And if you want to make it a bit more advanced, what you could do is you could put a wait for uh, contact reply reply to email and sms so if they if they reply to either one of these and we are checking this for one day right so wait for one day for contact to reply if you are setting up something like this maybe you can ask a question in the email or the sms so they reply you know because this is pretty much a notification that just con confirms that you've got the request so would you like to uh, to know any other information so i'll just use it in my sms as well and that's it so what we are doing is in this wait step we are waiting for contact to reply to email or sms for one day and then you can just slow down my video to see how I did it, but it's pretty simple, I guess. Uh, then I'll put a if uh, we're seeing contact replied true did not reply. So we are creating a branch saying replied. So if we, we're checking if the contact replied, right? So uh, we're doing if the contact replied we just update their opportunity to say responded same old same old so again through the if step we are checking if the contact replied so if the contact replied is true then move them to responded a new opportunity if they do, do not reply, you can basically send another uh, follow-up, I guess. So saying that email. Waiting to hear from you. And this is based on uh, the business and the need of, based on the process of our sales, of the sales team. We adapt to these kinds of workflows so hi i'm just showing you what different sorts of things you can do really so i not sure if you got my last message just checking if you want to know more info i will be waiting to hear from you from a technical point of view these are the uh, these are the stuff you can do uh, in order to get replies from the clients, uh, sorry, from leads, even even though they filled out the form, even though they reached out to you, but they may go cold if you don't constantly, uh, you know, ask for a reply and uh, constantly uh, ask to hear back from them, you know. So this is basically what a new lead automation looks like. So anything that happens in terms of form submission, service, service submission, ch chatbot, then you can perform all these actions based on that. So. Hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.